the coronal section of the abdomen can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear all of you can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear the relationship of the epiploic foramen which is the superior boundary of the epiploic foramen from times immemorial epiploic foramen boundaries is a favorite high yield topic in the by the examiner so it is a caudate lobe of the liver superiorly how the caudate process of the liver epiploic foramen posteriorly there is an inferior vena cava inferiorly you have the first part of the duodenum and anteriorly the free margin of the ligamentum lesser omentum which is containing the hepatic artery bile duct and the portal vein is what you need to basically remember that is called the pringles maneuver so tomorrow some of you are going to be eminent surgeons so when you are operating on the liver and uh, associated uh, areas you will apply pressure on the area of the epiploic foramen to protect the injury of the hepatic artery bile duct and portal vein while you are operating is called pringles maneuver is what you need to basically remember if you look at the cross section view of the lesser sac so this is the typical greater sac you can see then this is how the greater sac is extending here you have the stomach then you have the lesser sac over here and uh, we are talking about the epiploic foramen in this area and lesser sac typically forms the free margin of it forms the anterior part of the epiploic foramen then um, what is the representation of cervical vertebra shika munka is asking what about the note sir just give one more week time our developers are in their last round of testing the engine they will upload the notes also along with the video into the u medico app and you get an opportunity to uh, typically put reminders notifications to those points individual point will be like a inbox of the gmail you can be able to uh, bookmark it notify it and you keep getting notifications to remind you those particular points that you have marked so that feature is coming please give another one week time now in the cervical vertebra which part lies in relationship with the third part of the vertebral artery is what you have to be emphatically sure it is this part labeled as c if you look at the structure this is how the dura mater and uh, in the cervical vertebra and this is the typical area where the third part of the vertebral artery will be passing in relationship to this uh, this part of the cervical vertebral spine is what you need to remember anatomically nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc is a derivative of which layer which germ layer ectoderm or endoderm or mesoderm which part of the germ layer gives rise to the nucleus pulposus so it is this area which is being labeled as a and you can see that you have a ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm this is all endoderm right so now if you look at uh, uh, the notochord the notochord is the one which is derived from the mesodermal part of the uh, germ layers is what you need to appreciate now doctor in the infraclavicular area which part of the scapula can you be able to feel is a very important question so you can easily appreciate that you have a coracoid process of the scapula you can feel yourself even in the exam hall and imagine what uh, that uh, scapula's uh, bone used to be like so these are some questions which are beyond your control doctor 
this all depends on your general knowledge they don't come from the high yield topics suddenly of course surface markings is one of the high yield topics among the 650 topics that i gave to you but uh, this all depends upon how good you were in the last life and the last five and a half years these are all the in, uh, situational common sense type of questions but five to ten questions will be like that right so if you palpate the shoulder region what happens in the scapula you can be able to what are the various parts of the scapula where is the coracoid process etc etc you should be quite sure so you have an acromial process coracoid process scapular notch superior border glenoid cavity between the two processes the lateral border medial border etc etc you should be very sure about and similarly on the posterior aspect you have the spine uh, of the scapula and you have a infraspinous fossa of the scapula all these structures you should be doubly sure about anatomically right now <clears throat> the picture which is being shown here is showing the foramina at the base of the skull mandibular nerve passes through which foramen is the important question you know all skull foramina is one of the top 30 high yield topics you have to be doubly sure about the other day i was checking through the captions feature of uh, youtube when somebody is talking it automatically convert them into captions and keep showing down oh my god almost 98 percent accuracy it is able to create the english captions when the teacher is speaking sometimes a teacher's accent you may have a trouble to catch up certain words in the middle good some teachers will swallow some of the words also and uh, there is certain bihari style rajasthani style telugu style tamil style of pronouncing the words but really the artificial intelligence of the youtube algorithm is really good really good so uh, i think the captions feature is not available um, in the live while live broadcast is happening but after the live broadcast it is able to convert it very well um, so that's a that's a thing so doctor it is the mandibular nerve typically passes through the foramen away right so the motor root also passes through the foramen ovale ultimately it will miss the sensory component of the mandibular nerve outside the skull so foramen ovale and mandibular nerve is what you have to basically remember otherwise uh, male ovale and that male of the ovale is uh, basically the um, uh, mandibular nerve mandibular nerve male ovale is what you need to remember then uh, you have uh, maxillary division of the fifth cranial nerve rotamax you know the pen rotamax right foramen rotundum through which the maxillary nerve passes is what you have to basically remember <clears throat> now if you look at the base of the skull you have a anterior clinoid process the greater wing of the sphenoid the cella tarsica and below that you have this foramen ovale very close to this greater wing of sphenoid you have the cella tarsica the foramen ovale through which the mandibular nerve will be passing is what you have to be very sure about Annamji Nagredi says uh, camera is not clear. Um, how is it uh, for the others? Sometimes what happens is when your broadcast speed is slow, internet speed is slow, it will convert this into a, a little blurred uh, image. Maybe that could be a problem in Nagredi if there is no problem for others. How is the cam uh, clarity? Can you please say? Yeah, clear, clear. That's good internet speed if it is little slow still voice comes but the video become blurred right don't worry 